So yeah. So have the engaged couple as your witnesses. Mm -hmm. That is great. Because they celebrated their 50th wedding anniversaries together. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, it was kind of cool. Yeah. And let's see, they were married 1889. February 28, 1889. In Humboldt? Mm -hmm. the, the Methodist Church is down there now. It used to be the German Church. And that's where most of the family went to church up down there. That's great. And they have the, um, and if I'm remembering the story, you told me right, this was in a just suitcase. stuffed in a suitcase. Well, it was Bill's uncle, uh, his mom's only brother, mm -hmm. died two years ago, and he never had any kids or anything, was never married, and uh, he had lived in the nursing home for the last several years of his life, and when they cleaned out his room and his storage area that he had at the nursing home, they packed it all up and brought it to the family reunion in October, because he died like in August, and they brought it to the family reunion in October and said, Take what you know. If anybody wants anything, take it. And I was like one of the last ones to get over to look at the stuff, and I seen these rolled up papers. And I thought, <laughs> and so I unrolled them. And what caught my eye was this one because it's not in German as much as the other three are, but I think it there and there. And I that's hers one, right? That's her wedding date. And I was looking at the papers, and one of the cousin's husbands walked over and he said, do you know what you're looking at? I said, yeah, do you know what they are? He said, yes. And I said, and your wife, Virginia, doesn't want to keep these? He said, no, she's got enough of her mom's stuff. And I thought right then and there to myself, he has no clue what they are. <laughs> so then last year when we went to the dinner, we took him down because we put him in frames so we could look at him. Took him down, and my husband was sitting there talking to this other cousin that hadn't been to a reunion for a while, and he told him, told her, was telling her about the papers. And Virginia was sitting there, and she goes, no, they're not. And Bill goes, yes, they are, Virginia. And she goes, no, they're not. And Bill goes, Virginia, you didn't know they were in there, did you? And she got this really sick look on her face. But then she walked over to me, and I was talking to another guy, and she looked at me and I said, you had no clue what was in that suitcase. Did you? She said, I guess not. I said, well, if you want, I can make the copies of them. They've already taken pictures of them and put them on CD and, and uh, my computer at home. So I thought, you know, she wants copies, I'll get them. She just walked away. I was like, you had them. <laughs> So you have this great collection of uh, marriage certificates in German, a uh, couple married here in Nebraska in Humboldt in 1889. And then I have a picture of them. This was probably taken around the time that they got married, or did around the time they got married. And that's Dirk and Emma Sutorius. Well, it's Mary Sutorius. Mary Sutorius. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that's a great picture. Yeah. So that's that also be around 1889 then? Yes. Somewhere around there, because they're both really young and epic picture. And, and how are these people related to you? This is my husband's great grandparents on his mother's side. He made his maternal great grandparents. And then this is their daughter. This was her baptismal. Also printed in German, um, but filled out at the German church in Humboldt, mm -hmm. Humboldt, Nebraska, in 1890. And this one is her confirmation when she got confirmed in the church in 1904. 1904, Humboldt, Nebraska. And this one, which is the newest document, but it's in worse shape, is Emma Zatorius and Edel Harms' marriage license from the church. Oh, that's beautiful. Also from the German church at Humboldt. Yeah. That's great. And let's see, that is 19... I don't think it really gives the date on here. It's the 18th of February they got married, but I don't... Oh, it's uh, 1900... 1914. Thank you. 1914, okay. yeah. Oh, and it's beautiful. German text, beautiful colored images. If nothing else, they're beautiful for the artwork, you know, because they did some really cool things.